The scene is Spike and Faye from Cowboy Bebop. I don't know if anybody's seen that. It's kind of obscure. Um, I guess they've seen it. Okay, Spike and Faye are searching for a bounty. So, Ben, you are Spike. Jess, you are Faye. That's really... Yeah, you don't have to be the girl this time. That was a good deal. Um, and Joe, you can be their bounty. So you get to be whoever, they, whoever you want. Just be bound, bountish. Yeah, bountiful. There you go. He should be the guy with the horse. A horse? The guy with the horse. The guy... Oh, the horse guy. Oh, Andy? Andy. Oh. Yeah. He's, the, he's the best character ever. He actually is a space cowboy. <laughs> All right. Yes, little known fact, Joe is actually a cowboy. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Spike, Faye, somebody. And then you're the director. <sighs> we have no money again. Maybe if you could stop spending all of your money on like skin creams and body lotions, we'd actually have something to eat around here. There is no price for beauty. <laughs> and this is beauty. Look at, the, look at this. Flawless. Flawless. <laughs> anyway, let's walk this way and try to find ourselves a bounty. We need to, Sounds this, great. You know, we need to get something going here. Walk Take in front of me so, so that I can appreciate everything. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? You! You! Me! Mike! Jim! Maybe. Hey? <laughs> Jim? This guy's worth 10,000 uh, bulons. So you're the hunters that have come for me. Indeed. Right, There's a price I... on your head and I'm getting hungry. I can't allow that. <laughs> Let's say we make this a fair fight. You and me, leave the woman out of this. Oh. Shut up. What do you say, Faye? <laughs> do I get my cut? She always makes me do all of the work. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do hand fisty cuffs, are we? <laughs> well, I didn't bring a gun. I'm gonna show you the ancient martial, martial art of microphone hand. <laughs> cut. 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 Okay. All right. Come on. Okay. We're trying to. I want this to be a good show, you know, guys. And you guys are not helping me out here. So, there's one thing that my wife used to like before. She left me for that milkman. I guess I should have been suspicious when the milkman kept coming over since there aren't really Never had any bottles milkmen of milk. anymore. And... Hey, what are you guys doing here, huh? Oh, oh yeah, all right, okay. So my wife, she, like, she used to like these. Soap operas. And milkmen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've been, my doctor tells me I need to control my anger. Sorry about that, I apologize. All right. So, I want you to do the scene like a soap opera. All dramatic? Yeah. And maybe someone can be someone's twin brother. We can totally do that. Or you can go into a coma. <laughs> this is my twin brother. All right, let's do it. That. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling it. Action. I can do this. <sighs> Faye, this relationship has been going poorly ever since we got broken. You spent all of our money on, on creams. No, don't say that, Spike. I have to. I have to go and pursue my own dreams elsewhere. But, but I cannot live without you! There is no room for romance in the life of a bounty hunter. But I like your money! <laughs> I have to go. I will follow! What are you doing here? I thought I'd kill you! I never thought I'd see you again after I faked my death to get away from you! You bastard! <laughs> get him, Spike! And you! For me. You told me... We're a homosexual. <laughs> well, he's skinny and kind of... Uh... I, can, I can kind of see where you're coming from, but anyway! <laughs> I'm not happy with either of you. We he came, came all this way to chase Spike. me in my own house. He's a bounty! We can be together! If I could only catch him, our love could blossom. It could! But first, I must confess something. The yeah. bounty is in actuality. My twin brother. <gasps> Okay, cut. That was, that was a little too dramatic. <laughs> All right, too much. Actually, soap. some of that was true. Yeah, it's very soapy. 
Just a little bit. He's a little bit of a woman. You know, that reminds me. <laughs> Makes me nostalgic for before my son started wearing those leather chaps around the house and moved off with that Steve guy. He used to watch Sesame Street. Uh, it was such a simpler time then. Can you, for me, can you do it like Sesame Street? Please. It would make me. They, they told very me you happy. like to think outside of the box. <laughs> One. One box. <laughs> the show has been brought this to you is... by the letter C. So, um, how were you? Did you do good in school today, Faye? Oh, I did excellent. I learned that you need a lot of woolongs to eat and buy lovely skin products. And I learned how to count to ten. I also learned my colors. Like your shirt is brown, Micah. and that guy's shirt is orange, and my heart is black with rage. Hey, <laughs> hey, who told you how to get how to get to my hiding space? We follow the signs. <laughs> oh no way! There were signs. There's, there were neon. There's not one, but two bounty hunters, <laughs> and I am alone. One bounty. Bounty. Can we spell bounty, kids? B-O-U-N-T-Y! Excellent! Yay! You know, we learned a lot today. We did. We learned how to spell bounty. And we learned how to count. And we learned like, that your heart is full of rage. We did. <laughs> what you do? All right. Cut, cut, cut. Okay. I have some bad news. I just learned that I have cancer. And if TV has taught me anything, there's only one person that can cure me. And that is Dr. Gregory House. <laughs> so to give me inspiration to overcome this cancer, <laughs> I want you to do the scene like an episode of House. Not Full House. House. Are you going to give me permission to do that operation, or are you just going to spend all day rubbing lotion into your skin? <laughs> you know I have a skin condition house spike. I can't remember. I'm too busy taking heroin for the pain in my leg. <laughs> in addition, I would also like to discuss that I've become a bounty hunter. <laughs> oh, it help you pay for your heroin? <laughs> Indeed. You're finally here. I've been bleeding internally in my left pinky. Interesting. <laughs> this is a hard ailment, I'm sure. This may even take a full 45 minutes. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll come to some sort of realization that solves it in the end. Tell me. Maybe it's lupus. <laughs> it's never lupus. <laughs> we should come up with at least 15 ideas. I My think. medical crew are clearly idiots. Did you wash those pants recently? No. Indeed. <laughs> Clearly then, it is a problem with your pants that is causing the reaction. No, wait! I was out baking cookies today and the cookies reminded me of sugar. Sugar? Sugar. Have you had sugar today? Or PCP? Indeed. You have a drug habit, sir! And My that's... God! <laughs> you know. I knew because of the tracks in your arms, ha! Huh? And the PCP. And the PCP. It was actually brought to me by a realization of something mundane that I had been doing earlier in the day. How clever. And how <laughs> solves it again in much less time than usual. <laughs> oh. What, are we done? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that cured my cancer, thank you. <laughs> uh, I guess it takes a drug addict to know a drug addict. Yeah, PCP. He's in tremendous pain. Give him a break. What's our next 